local recording started. Streaming go good. Mic's good. Desktop audio is good. Everything's good. Oh, I actually need to get chat on my phone. I'm stupid. One second. Hold up. Hold up. I'm dumb. Uh, there we go. Skip the end. We don't need the intro. I don't need the intro. I got a good full flask of water. Let's finish this video game. Let's finish this video game, baby. And then Friday, uh, fucking Mario RPG remake. And then maybe in between that, I'll do Lethal Company again. I don't know. Uh, can I just go backwards? No, because it's not connected yet. Oh, wait, I can do minus. That's right. I can do, like, a uh, new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Yeah, we got to finish Spaceland. We did one level in Spaceland, so we got, like, 2 or 3% of it down. Oh, my controller. Ah. Oh. And then all we have is Dreamland, which is, like, four levels, I think. It should be enough for one last full stream of this. Bum, bum, bum. In the fucking t in tube town, fucking Halloween town ass, nightmare for Christmas ass level tube town. Sounds like something that'd be in like that. What's that bonkers? Is that that cartoon show with like the cartoon cop and like, but then the real man, even though he's also technically a cartoon. I watched that show once on YouTube because it was like free or it was Disney. I remember. I don't remember Disney Plus. Maybe it was actually on, and I was just like, man. I kind of don't care about this show. Out of all, like, the 90s, um, like, the Saturday morning cartoon block that it was with DuckTales and shit, I don't really care about that show. I don't know, something about it just isn't very interesting to me. Nice try. It seemed very blind, it seemed very mid, that show bonkers. Oh, okay, I see. Awesome. I don't know how that hurt me. It's alright, it's the beginning of the level. Oh look, it's it's a fucking techno remix of the of the theme from like the first world. I would like this please. I got it. I'm a gamer. I got it. Hmm. What is bro yapping about? I'm yapping about Bonkers, the Saturday morning Disney cartoon show that ran alongside DuckTales and shit. It's kind of mid. I don't like it very much. I think it's... I think it's like whatever. Oh, fuck. I missed something down there. Wait a minute. Huh. I missed furniture. Don't worry. It's fine. Wait, what? Am I being stupid right now? Most like, More likely than you think. Nothing much going on with me, though. Uh, there's a few things I have to talk about. Look, but... Let's wait till more people get... Oh, I mean, there's already four people here. Holy shit. Ooh, oh, I'm tired. Brr, sorry. I don't know why I'm so... I'm so eepy. Guess it's one of those days, I suppose. I do got a few things to talk about. There's actually something that's kind of a that's a, a new controversy of the day. The new the YouTuber drama. I guess it's YouTuber drama. It's more like gaming YouTuber drama. Basically, I guess we can get into it now. Gerard the Completionist. I think I was supposed to use this man. Uh, Gerard the Completionist. Yep, here we go. Uh, he basically did a charity thing, but then he, like, kept the charity money or something like that. He didn't actually, like, use the char charity money for, like, a 401k or something, is the thing I'm hearing right now. Which, like, damn. All those, uh, normal boots dudes, kind of shitty, huh? Something, watch, like, next month something gonna come out about Peanut Butter Gamer about he fucking, I don't know. Uh, uh, robbed a bank. He was the, he was the fucking DB Cooper. Peanut Butter Gamer DB Cooper. That's what I've heard anyways. I saw I was saw a video about it too, but I didn't like really watch the video. But I've heard that's the thing. I want that. Bum. Bum. There we go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh yeah, that sucks. You know, I didn't I haven't really watched 
the completionist in like forever. I mean, I, I'd watch a video every now and then. He was never a video. You know what sucks more about that? You know, I am subscribed to Super Beard Brothers, the one where they do gaming stuff. Can I stand on this? Oh! <gasps> That's fucked up what just happened to me. That shouldn't be allowed. Um, I'm gonna have to unsubscribe from that. It's not like I've watched them in a long time either. Last time I watched those dudes play the game was like fucking... Oh, he's... you know what? There's a lot of shit actually that I should realize that Gerard's part of. That, uh... That's shitty now. Because he did, like, the scary game squad stuff with Jesse Cox. And now, like, that's not... I'm not watching that shit no more. Or they're just gonna have to... Or they'll just not do those. Which is... Which, I... I honestly, that was, like, the only videos I watched Jesse Cox do anymore. Because that dude just does, like, gaming news now. And it's, like, the most boring, generic game journalist shit. And it's so... It's just not interesting. I don't know what happened to that guy. He used to have pretty decent content. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Another one of that. Oh, okay. I see. No, don't eat me, you fuck. Okay, I think I need to do this. Nope, that's wrong. Nope, I can't get him back. Okay. I know, I see what I gotta do, though. I see. I, I, got, I got a bigger brain than most. Than most people. That's true. I got the, big, the biggest brain on Twitch right now. Could you imagine if I actually thought that? Could you imagine if I was some egotistical son of a bitch? I hope I never get like that. I hope I never become like... That's why, like, I never... Like, I don't even want to become, like, a big streamer. I'd want, like, 30 people in here. That's all I ever want on any given stream, really. Like that. I don't need... I don't need, like, a thousand million people, right? I don't want to become corrupt, because you know what they say about power. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. So who knows? Who knows? Get you out of here. Good use of these dudes in this in this world. You know, they're introducing that sand world and they're just kind of annoyance. Okay, wait. I want that. I need the five star. Awesome. I'll take that back. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, I see. No, that's not what I wanted. God damn. Bum, 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 bum. It seems a lot of those... Well, it's mostly... I, I always have, like... I always have more of, like, a... Um, a wariness of, like, old Newgrounds people. Because I, 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 all those people are just kind of... Already kind of weird, and they may... I don't know. A lot of, like, old Newgrounds people are... are usually end up being racist or something or something fucking weird like when oni ng said uh, blm was a cult remember that you guys remember when they said that hmm How do I get- am I being stupid right now? Dun, 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 dun. Huh. So it's bam, 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 okay. Oh, I see, okay, I need this guy. Alright, I see now. I don't care about people's opinions on socials if they're just here to be internet funny, man. I don't know. I don't feel like I, you can... I can in God just, like, watch Oni and G after he said really fucking wild shit. 
You know what I mean? It's like you're gonna still watch PewDiePie. I don't know. You're still gonna watch PewDiePie after his heated gamer moment. And PewDiePie's already like done stuff where he's like made like I don't know. Didn't he like pay dudes in like a third world country to hold up a giant piece of paper to say like Hitler did nothing wrong as like a joke or whatever? Didn't he do that? Honestly, though, I don't think... I've never seen anyone get, like, quote-unquote... I don't even like the word cancel because it's such a thing. I can, yeah. What am I doing here? Oh. Um, you know, I've never seen someone get can... Like, I mean, I don't like... Because it seems like such a buzzword. But I've never seen anybody get canceled that didn't deserve it. Honestly. Every time I see, ever see anything like that happen... And then if it... You know... The only time I've seen it happen where they didn't deserve it... But then it was because it was, like, totally fake and, like, the thing, like, it was, like, a like a weird vendetta against the person was the Vinnie Vine Sauce stuff, which we've talked about before. That whole shit. Where it was, like, none of it was even real, or, like, the, some of it, the truth to it was misconstrued to such an extent that it was, like, not even really what happened, or whatever. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. And that was all because, like, GPM, who used to be an old friend of of the Vines, whole Vine Sauce crew took some money during a charity, speak of, speaking of which. To, like, pay for his apartment or whatever. And he kind of staged that whole thing because he was, like, mad. And now, and then, that dude had, like, over a thousand followers before that, and then after that, like, if you go now, his, his Twitter account is, like, privated, and it's only got, like, 130 people following it, and it's pretty fucking funny, and that's what happens. That's what happens when a large section of your audience overlaps with this guy that you're trying to fucking, for some reason, out, even though they didn't do anything. That was kind of a nothing level. I didn't feel like anything happened there. Yeah, but it was a joke. The punchline was them actually doing it. I don't think it's super funny to, like... I don't know. That's kind of like... A rich dude paying a hobo to dance on the street for him. That's kind of like in the same vein. That's kind of like fucked. I don't know. Like, yeah, these dudes are going to do anything for money because they're in a, like a third world country. You know, I don't know. They're poor as shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's, I don't know. It kind of takes advantage of them. I don't know. I don't like that. It's kind of weird. How? What do you mean? What do you mean how? What are you talking about? With the vine sauce stuff? He like, that he had organized the whole thing to happen. The whole, like, room, like, this, like, to misconstrue this story. Yo, that's a UFO, that's alien real! So weird, Meta Knight is in Spaceland. His line does not befit him at all. King Dedede's a penguin, so that makes sense. Mysterious UFO. Ugh. Uh, it sounds like fucking. It sounded like the Mario World Ghost House for a second. The brown. I mean, they can be. Well, don't fucking try to misconstrue. You know what I'm saying. Bum bum ba ba da bum bum ba bum ba ba da bum ba ba da bum ba ba da bum. Either way, it was fucked up. At the end, I just don't think. I don't think it's funny. I don't know. It's fucking that. You know, like that one image. The one image, like, yeah, I got an edgy sense of humor says something racist that's yeah that's being racist isn't fucking edgy humor that's not dark well it's edgy humor but it's not dark humor that's what it is it's i i like dark humor says something racist that's not dark humor dark humor is like talking about like your dead grandma like making a joke about your dead grandma or something you know what i mean oh i have no weight to do this hmm you gonna start barking, you little shit? You're out to go out if you start barking, man. I will not tolerate this this tomfoolery. Oh, I can't even break these. But, uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going off what you're saying. Yeah, sure it was, and you can find it funny. And I don't know. I don't think that's funny. But that's me. I guess. That looked like a dick. That thing just straight up looked like a dingus. Look at me. I could just fly. I could just basically stay in one place. Nice. Epic. You're not going to bark? You're going to be a good boy for me? Good. What was the other thing to talk about? Oh, yeah. The Wiley e. Coyote movie. Uh, the Wiley e. Coyote movie. Um, 
So, you know, the, the story right on that, if you don't know, was that it was another thing that Warner Brothers made and then they just shelved instantly. Okay. And then they just shelved instantly because, for, you know, for tax write-off reasons. I think it's strange to hold him over something that happened like seven years ago. Well, the bridge he moment also almost happened like five, six years ago. I don't know. Uh... Wow. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers, after the backlash for, like, them not releasing another movie and just totally shelving it when it's completely done and ready to go, they're allowing the creators of the Wile E. Coyote vs. Acme movie to shop it to other streaming services, which is still fucking, like, what the fuck? Just throw it on HBO Max. What is your, what's your problem? Um, but hey, it's better than, hopefully, someone will nab it. Someone will nab it. It's so fucking strange that War the people who running Warner Brothers are looking at Looney Tunes shit and just being like, yeah, who cares? Fucking who cares? Don't They don't see the value in Looney Tunes. Which is just fucking crazy. I was talking... Well, I was having this conversation with some other people a few days ago. Just about how, like... There's no good... I don't know. Maybe... Is this, like, me? Because, no, there are some good cartoons. Like, Craig of the Creek is, like, I guess, more recent. Oh, Craig of the Creek is already, like, fucking a good bit years old now. But that's... Like, in my mind, Craig of the Creek is, like, the last on television, like pretty quality cartoon i can remember like like for the past like five six years it feels like cartoon network's been going for like this preschooler route when you cartoon network used to have the best it just feels like no one has good cartoons anymore is like is this me being old is this like am i turning now into the 90 kids that would watch that would see adventure time and regular show and be like this shit's stupid or am i am i being valid here Ever since Looney Tunes Unleashed, it's all been downhill. Oh, no, you had the Looney Tunes show, man. You had the Looney Tunes show, which was peak. Don't even try to tell me the Looney Tunes show wasn't peak. There we go. That's what I want. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like... I don't know. It feels like we haven't... Is it, like, is this is this a thing? Is, like, is this me becoming older and saying my cartoons are better? Because I still like, I don't know, because there was Infinity Train was, te like, I guess that's, like, a bit now, too, but I don't know. Before Craig of the Creek, that was, like, their other most modern cartoon, and then they fucking shelved it. So, like, I don't know. And then Nickelodeon hasn't had fucking anything good in since the 90s. Like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be real with you. They haven't had any, well, no, they had Rise of the Ninja Turtles. Never mind, they did have that. That's, like, the best thing they've had in, like, the past decade. Whoop. Do I have to follow this thing, or will, will like, it go to the place I need it to go, normally? There it is. I'll take that. Space food. Yo, fucking... You know, this level will remind me a lot of the, some of the space levels in... In Super Paper Mario, but, you know, better. Definitely better, because it's not so fucking boring. Uh... I'd say half and half. I mean, the whole streaming transition may have something to do with it. I'll start giving CN shit about... I'll start giving a shit about CN once they put Toonami on the day block. Right, they did put Toonami on the day block. Just give Toonami a channel already, Jesus. Honestly, yeah. I agree with that. Isn't it crazy how, like, Pokemon's on, like, Disney now? Is on the Disney channel now when it used to be on the Cartoon Network? That's fucked. I always associated Pokemon with Cartoon Network and Boomerang. And now that it's on Disney, it's, it, that's, it, that's, that's kind of crazy to me. Why'd they do that? <gasps> well, there goes all my shit right in the... <gasps> hey, I got some of it back, baby. I did remember the transition. That was wild. That was weird. Because, like, what it, what, what it, like... I don't know. I guess if you have Cartoon Network, you have Disney Channel. But, like, kids aren't going to know what Pokemon is on anymore unless they're, like, channel surfing. I think Adventure Time was, like, one of the first shows also where I started... No, Flapjack and Chowder were. Flapjack and Chowder were the first shows where I started to watch it, like, follow it every episode. Because they had the... Back in the day, they used to have... This is what Cartoon Network needs to get back into doing. Remember fucking Har Har Thursdays? I know it changed between Monday and Thursdays. But for, like, a good couple... Five, six years. They did it to where... They did it to where... Every episode, every new episode of, like, all their shows was on a specific day. And then you're, like, the, like a little bit more than halfway through, like, 
Adventure Time's lifespan, you'd be like, you get a new episode every six months or a year. That's something that Cartoon Network also always had above a lot of other studios, is because... Oh, I see. Nice. That's messing with mechanics. I like that shit. Um, but that was like, because, you know, Disney, you'd fucking... Okay, I thought I died. You'd have to wait literally a year between Gravity Fall episodes, which was fucked up. Uh, I deadass will get Cable again if they put Toonami on the day block. I have Cable, but only because that father watches football. But even then, now football is on, like, uh, YouTube and shit. Oh, I see. I fucked up already. God damn it! Oh, no, he's back. He respawned. Oh, he's just coming out of that computer. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. Stop the downloading. There we go. Give me that five. Younger generation urines for DBZ at 5 p.m. Do they, though? Do they? I feel like you could... It's... Do young kids still watch the Dragon Ball? Do 10-year-olds watch Dragon Ball still? Here we go. I want to go up. There we are. Oh, I need a ball. Let's change the gravity back to normal at least, though. Oh, no, I don't. Because now I can do this. Whoop. Kind of sucks. They haven't done Dragon Ball reruns in years, though. Yes. But, yeah, everyone likes Dragon Ball. I mean, I'm... I don't... I don't... I'm not going to say Dragon Ball is mid at all. It's not. But I'm, I'm just not in, I, really into Dragon Ball. I was for a bit. I was watching Kai on Adult Swim... Like, a, like, pff, fucking, like, a decade ago, it feels like. Probably. Um, I feel like these levels are really short. Am I crazy? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aww. I feel like what kids watch these days, uh, I feel like what kids these days watch, though, I feel like they'd rather watch anime, maybe. What, literally, when we had the Halloween party here, one of my little nephews dressed up as a Demon Slayer character. The boy Demon Slayer character. So I guess they kids do be watching their little anime. My brother was like, man, I can't believe you know kids just watch anime these days. Meanwhile, it was kind of like a niche thing to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, most of them would rather watch anime. The only reason they watch anime is because there's no fucking good Western shows out there, man. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Because, like, I, I don't know, like I said, like, genuinely, Craig of the Creek is the last good sh show I can remember coming out that was, like, a good cartoon. Like, was Rise after Craig of the Creek? R Rise might have been after Craig of the Creek, and I guess it was technically Rise. I thought I was still in low gravity mode. Stellar way. There's some appeal in that it tracks younger audiences. I remember out of all the things on TV I got into through time with Fuli Lakuli and Lupin and shit. Mm. I was, I was, listen. Chowder, Adventure Time, and Flapjack. Those were like the three. Those were like the three of my childhood, the three ones. Was there ever a time when Adventure Time, Flapjack, and Chowder were all running at the same time? Or is that not real? Were those shows, it was like by the time Adventure Time was around, Chowder and Flapjack had, had gone. Because I know a lot of the Flapjack uh, Adventure Time crew came from Flapjack. I mean, Pendleton Ward worked on there. Flapjack was the osmosis for modern cartoons. We just need that. We just need that for now. I say modern, but like it's like almost a decade ago now. Because, you know, we had Flapjack and that had Alex Hirsch on it. That had Pendleton Ward on it. Uh, that had fucking... That had a bunch of craters on it. And then uh, Repica Sugar was on Adventure Time. And then fucking... People who were on Gravity Falls made, like, uh, Inside Job and others so-and-so. So and, so, and it was, like, a big chain reaction that kind of happened. And now we don't really have that. We don't have, like, the singular show that can it was, like, the primordial goo. <gasps> for, like, cartoons now. Uh... Kulu Kuli is fucking peak on only six episodes. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Oh, Clueless knows about- I don't know about Fully Lakuli. Also, hey, Clueless, what's going on? 
talking about how there's no good modern cartoons. And then, but then I'm also asking, is that because I'm, I'm older now? And so I'm looking at modern cartoons and I'm like, these, these are not as good as my cartoons or are they generally not as, genuinely not as good? Because Adventure Time and Regular Show are genuinely good shows, but I bet people, you know, from the 90s would be like, fucking these cartoons, what are these? That, especially with Steven Universe, that happened where people were like, fucking Steven Universe. I know my brother for some reason hates Amazing World of Gumball for no fucking reason. And I don't know why. I, I think he's just said it, it's stupid. And I'm like, why do you... Th I don't know if he's even ever watched it. I tell him it's fine. I, I don't I don't like love or hate Gumball. I, I think it's, Gumball's like a perfectly fine show. I don't really have any strong feelings on it one way or another. Is this progress or is this secret? This is secret. Uh, it's crazy. I kind of like the alternative. They weren't bad at all. They weren't just they just they just weren't as good. Progressive is liquid shit, uh, and I don't bother with grung. I don't know what the, these words you're saying to me are right now, man. You know, kids like Wallace and Gromit. I like both alternative and prog. It's still downgrades though. Gumbo fell off for me at least, especially after season three. I forgot about you guys are talking about shit. I don't even know. It's a different world. I don't watch anime. You talking about anime world? What did I read in here that I thought was actually interesting? Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, I fucking love Wallace. Show them the Were Rabbit. Show them Wallace and Gromit the Were Rabbit. I think it's on Netflix still, maybe. I knew it was a little bit ago and I watched it. Wallace and Gromit. I mean, I get it because, like, they're claymation, so they never got a TV show. But man, I would watch an entire TV show with Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit is kind of almost like a reverse Garfield. I guess Garfield is... No, that's not true. Because John Buckle are, like... Wallace and John Arbuckle... I guess that's another thing we could talk about. The fucking Garfield movie. Why they make his mouth move? That's the whole point, is that his mouth doesn't move. He's not actually talking. He's... He's... He's, uh... It's his inner monologue. I guess they just don't understand. And here's the thing. They, so Chris Pratt is Garfield. And, like, that could have worked. If Chris Pratt ever put any effort into anything he does, ever... I want to get up there. You know what I mean? If Chris Pratt would act... All Chris Pratt has to do is kind of a, like this voice. He just has to sound... I don't know. Because Chris Pratt's voice acting it like he would a car like any other cartoon. But Garfield's not like... He's not a cheery guy. I think that's the whole point is that he's kind of boring a little. He's exaggerated in his mundanity. And then Garfield's dad is Samuel L. Jackson. That's just like that. This it's this is just it's just another fucking celebrity voice actor Hollywood movie. Honestly, with the Mario movie, it really was only Chris Pratt that kind of fell out of place. Like even Charlie Day Luigi, that felt right. The vibe was there. His Luigi's soul is there with, with Charlie Day Luigi. It really, is just Mario that's is the worst performance in that movie. And even then, I feel like it wasn't enough to ruin it. Because I, I enjoy that movie. I'll take that. Uh, but a try gun. I didn't even notice his mouth moved until you pointed it out. Did you hear about the uh, about the new Lethal Company update? Yeah, I heard about the new Lethal Company update. Uh, Garfield Garfield's mouth moved in the Garfield show. That is true. That was not a word. I think Chris Pratt was still okay as Mario. Pratt's Garfield is fine. He just needs to make it more monotone. Exactly. That's... Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, he's got to make it... Garfield is... I feel like Garfield's one of those characters... He goes to a 0 to 100. Because, like, you know... Here's the other thing, also. I think at least this story... All right. Remember how in the Garfield show, fucking Gar... Like, it'd be a normal-ass episode, and then just random sci-fi element out of nowhere? we just get like, oh, here's, like, xenomorph-ass aliens trying to get the pizza... His favorite pizza place. What the fuck was that? That was... what? Why were you trying to shove sci-fi plots in the Garfield? I feel like the most extreme you could ever get with Garfield is almost... Like... Crime... Like, Mafia. You know what I mean? I, that feels right. Like, I, like imagine if Jaren Arbuckle got in... Got... I don't know, he had, owed the Mafia money trying to get, like, Liz a wedding ring. And then Garfield and Odie had to find him. Look! Perfect plot for a fucking Garfield movie right there, man. Perfect. It's e That's so easy. That's so easy. I'm a... I got the biggest brain in the fucking universe. 
Here's another voice acting doing voice. There are two different things. Also, yeah, the Lethal Company update is they added something called a baboon bird. I don't know if they added anything more than that other than, like, little tweaks. I know there's a... There's a five-player mod someone made, or a... a uh, wait, there's something down here. It was a up to 20 player mod someone made for Lethal Company. Which, if I ever had more than four people that wanted to play, that'd be perfect. I think that's nice that someone made that. I don't know how that works, though. I wonder if that necessarily makes the game harder or easier. I wonder if it would take out the scariness, though. The scare factor of, like, when there's a creature. Uh, I'll read chat. Let me, let me get past these fucking meteorites. Yeah, fucking crystal stars, baby. Super Mario. Everything is Super Mario all the time because of my hyperfixation. I already got gold, so I don't need to worry about that. What are we doing? Rocket ship? This is a new one. Uh, what's she reading? Pratt's graph is just making more monotone. Da -da -da. I was about to go on a Mario Chris Pratt. Tangent crackpot theory, but I need to contain myself. Why did Adam say that? Is he acoustic? Yeah, I'm acoustic. Oh, shooter level. Is this like the penultimate level in uh, Donkey Kong Country? Why are my shoes on? Why do I have my shoes on right now? Take that shit off. Don't need shoes. Who needs shoes right now? Who needs shoes? I don't think anyone should wear anything on their feet ever. We should all be hobbits. With our leathery soles that can step on hard, pointy rocks and hairy feet to keep us warm. I'd be a hobbit. If I could trade my species, I'd be a hobbit. I'd be a hobbit. And that that's like no question. No question. Bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -dum, bum, bum. I don't know. Hobbits live a simple life in the air. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Simple little lives, simple problems, simple people. Die. Ugh. Fuck that. I wanna wanna ru don't wanna ruin. No, if you're a hobbit though, that's the whole point. That hobbits. It, they say it in the book, in the first Hobbit book, when it's, like, it's talking about, telling you what a Hobbit is. It's like, yeah, they could basically step on fucking nails, and they'll be fine. That's, like, a biological trait the Hobbit's got. I'd want that biological trait. Could you imagine you'd never step on a Lego and hurt yourself ever again? Oh, I, I didn't find the five one, I guess. Human-style feet should never be barefoot outside. That is a sin. We? Who's we? I am not doing that. What do you mean? Think of... You watch fucking The Hobbit... and don't, don't watch The Hobbit movies. The Hobbit movies aren't very good. Watch The Lord of the Rings. You tell me you wouldn't want to be a hobbit living in the Shire? I never hurt my stuff stepping on a Lego. I should be a reptile or a bird anthro instead. No, a hobbit. Because then you could... Because hobbits are awesome. Because they also have the strength of will. They could... They, you know... It's because I want to be in the Shire. That's one of my top 10 fictional places I would live if I could live in a fictional place. Oh man, boss already? This world felt very fast compared to the previous one. Uh, they probably fucked up my feet growing up and outside sin, goddamn. Just making sure I didn't miss anything in chat. I don't know. I don't know. I guess as you could also they're also called halflings, right? In D&D they had to call them hobbits halflings because of copyright. Yo, it's, I mean, I would have been so awesome if Lord of the Rings could have Well, when does it go into the public domain? When does Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit go into the public domain? Man, I'm so mad that the audiobook of the Hobbit I listened to on YouTube got taken down. I fucking love it. That was good. But a night looks pretty good here. I like this design. I don't know how to do this boss fight though. Oh, I think I know. Look at him flap. Shoot your blast at me. Blast at me, man. Fuck me. God the damn it. Do another blast. Come on. Ha! 
You motherfucker! Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna shit myself. This isn't even hard. This, I'm just like failing. I'm failing to throw the thing at him. There we go. Jesus. There we go. At least I haven't lost any beads. I'll take that. Nice. There we go. Big fucking flame. Okay. Get away from me. That's not even Galaxia. That's not your real sword. Get, use your fucking real sword. Why won't you turn into a car? It's all right. Hey, so when are you going to do your blast? I kind of need you to do your blast. What? I'm confused right now. And I'm losing all my shit. Start. Should I just... I think I should just start over. I'm starting over. I need that patch. I need that extra patch. Alright, you can't die in this game. Yeah. You can beat Meta Knight. He's too cool and awesome to defeat Sorry at him. He's not even... I like DDD. No, you are a bad boy. Let that slide. Well, more power... To, if only you could just normally do that, though. Okay, I'm just reading chat. Uh, DDD's... I like DDD more than I like Meta Knight. Nothing against Meta Knight. He's cool, but I just prefer DDD. I think I like DDD's character arc better. You know, Big Sweetie. Oh, my lord. I'll take that. Okay, and then it's the little blue ones. This is a weird remix, because every mu all the music in this is very soft and, like, awesome. Fuck me. Alright, well. Alright. I'm. This is one's pissing me off a bit. He's jumping around. Too. This one's like... Something about this fight that's where it's weirdly painfully slow. And I'm not super into it. The DDD one was pretty fast. He had a lot of openings. Meta Knight is goaded still though. I like Meta Knight. Do not get me wrong. He's got a good design. I just like DDD better. King DDD's peak. Come on. And sometimes Kirby, like I've said before, Kirby sometimes just, he just doesn't run. I'll like press it twice and he just doesn't move. Like watch. I don't know, man. I don't know why sometimes he doesn't and sometimes he don't. Okay. Uh, awesome. I don't know why that didn't work. There we go. Bada bing. I'll take that. He's trying to resist the mind control. Yeah, I don't... I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to hit him here. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Oh, he just didn't do that last time, I guess. Awesome. Oh, cool. Do it again. Do the blast. Do your gay little blast. Awesome. Fuck me, dude. Come on.
There we go. I'll take these. Thank you very much. All right, there's the patch. We just can't get hit any more than this. We can't lose any more. Red sword. Evil red sword. Oh, he's doing this. There it is, baby. There he goes. Shame his mask doesn't come off in this game, but whatever. He still turns and uses his dimensional cape. Bro losing to a baby game. Listen, it's not that I'm losing. I just want the patch. I'm not technically losing. I just want the patch. This is for extra content. Uh, DD Bur DD Burb and was buff husband material, but he can always get buff again. What the fuck? You don't love DD for who he is? That's kind of fucked up, man. That's not buff DD isn't the real DD. The real DD be that glutton. We did it. We got the, the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and, and swirled. Hey, we're making good time. I thought this was gonna be like I don't know. Last stream felt like really. I guess I did three worlds. Basically, in the last stream, I finished half of one, I did all of another one, and then I did one level in Spaceland. And Patchland was stitched back together thanks to Kirby and Prince Fluff. So, is this a planet or is this a separate dimension? Thanks, Kirby. I couldn't have done it without your help. Kirby and Prince Fluff jump for joy. Uh, who's gotten you having it with their DDD propaganda? Neither is Bowser being a good dad, but people still want to pretend he is one. Clue? I know that guy on Twitter.com. No, I just, that's what I believe. Me. I'm sorry, Kirby. It was the yarn. Did I miss the, did I miss the line? The funny line? Fuck. This is like the most chivalrous Meta Knight's ever been, um, portrayed as. Together, the other socks magic had been restored. Be careful, Kirby. Yin Yarn is one mean piece of strength. Fucking <laughs> best Meta Knight quote of all time. I'm going with him, Fluff said, and they all set out for Dreamland to button up Yin Yarn's story once and for all. There he goes. The King Dee, you gotta get him, man. My main man, my favorite guy. Game theory: Bowser is a deadbeat. Which propaganda specifically, though? The shirtless ones. Ah, uh, okay. There's Whippy Woods. My main man, Whippy. That's a good remix we got here, though. I don't think we'll do go back to the apartment this stream. Oh, but we do get a fucking DDD plush in the DDD level. Wispy's Force. Okay, how many levels are there? Oh, wait, I need to go back to Spaceland. What am I doing? I have, um... Extra Spaceland world. Extra Spaceland levels. Yeah, I could just go to Dreamline that way. Okay. Spaceland. We got two extra Spaceline levels to do to help uh, bolster the stream time. You, he, dang, autocorrect. Fucking a spool. Uh, uh, I've never done... Okay, so I think I've gotten as far as Meta Knight in this game, but I don't think I've ever done these Dreamland levels. I've seen them, obviously, in, on other videos and streams and such. But I've never... Moon base. But I've never... I've just never done it. This is... Like I said, this is one of the few Kirby games I've never beaten. This and, like, some of those spin-off shit like Tilt and Tumble and Pinball Land. But, this, like I've said before, this is kind of in a weird in-between where it's a main... It's closer to a mainline game than it is, like, a real spin-off spin-off because it's a 2D platformer. Like, what? The cute and comfy world of Dreamland becomes even more cute and comfy? What are Yin-Yarn ambitions? Making things yarn? Is he an evil... Is he evil apart from that? I think he's just an asshole. Mm, ba -da -ba -bum. This, at least this is like... We need more Kirby games where there's a dimension that's not a parallel dimension. Oh, we're doing this. Because it feels like every time we go to a different dimension in a Kirby game... It feels like it's... It's a some separate reality like parallel even the forgotten land is like earth in a different reality even though we already know earth exists in kirby world because shiver star i hate when fucking matpad made that mario odyssey theory about the mario's moon gonna fall down 
and destroy the Earth. And then he's like, maybe Mario's plan to become Shiver Star from Kirby 64. Meanwhile, in the exact gift he fucking uses, there's like the moon is revolving around Shiver Star. Shiver Star still has its fucking moon, you imbecile. My pet's stupid. I'm just gonna say that straight up. Fuck that guy. I don't know. I just find him annoying. Fucking made that video of like which video game characters would survive the coronavirus. Dumb as shit. And then in the, his fucking Skibbity Toilet video, made a boy. I don't even want to talk about Skibbity Toilet because the creators of Skibbity Toilet themselves is racist. But, um. Oh, look. Oh, it's like Nova. Yo, we're the ancients on fucking Patchland. Um. In his video about Skibbity Toilet, Matt Pat tried to be like, you can clearly see the qu twin towers in the background, so this is before 9-11. And that's just like, I don't know. That, first of all, that's it's funny because, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What are you doing? Um, like, why are you, why do you fucking talk about 9-11 in your Skibbity Toilet video? You know what I mean? First, it's a shit video overall made by a shitty dude. And now you're talking about 9-11. Holy base, that shit funny as fuck. It's alright, I can, I can get it back, I can get it back. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -dum. Die. But yeah, I don't know, MatPat, the last theory I actually liked that MatPat did, it was, um... I've said this so many times, this is the Rosalina one. I don't even need to go anymore in I've said, I think I talked about this like, literally like two streams ago, I think. ba bum 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 ba da 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 ba da There we go. I'll take these. Genuinely good channel. Alright, I have to go get food. We'll be back later. No problem. No problem. What about FNAF? I mean, yeah, he, he also kind of... I mean, FNAF is kind of like the, the how he made his money. That was like... The, that dude... That dude was making FNAF videos just to fucking survive. Like, that was like... He was able to fucking pay the bills with those FNAF videos. But that's more, honestly, though, with the with the FNAF stuff, that's more of a thing of Scott Coffin fucking being a shitty storyteller and a shitty person, you know, and, you know, making, making a good game and then ruining it. And then giving uh, massive donations of money, most... And, and then he gets money from people buying these games who are LGBT, a lot of them, and then uh, he donates to anti-LGBT politicians. So, I mean, that's pretty epic as well. Bup, 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 bup. But at this point, Final Fantasy has become bigger than him. So, like, who cares? Man creates the Mangle, the most fruitiest thing, one of the most fruity characters I've ever seen in my life. And then... And then does that. Man, I got, like, nothing. I got silver, I guess. I got the two pieces of furniture, that's all I care about. Not too much? Perfect, perfect. Uh, he did it because it was lesser. Making claims won't actually look in further into. I mean... He did them. And even when in his apology, he didn't, like, apologize for, like, do- He apologized- I don't know. Whatever. Star patch. Yo, fucking Mabel, Gravity Falls. We're just talking about Gravity Falls because we're talking about cartoons. <sighs> I was watching a video the other day. I think I maybe was talking about this this day, but we didn't go into it. About how there's a lot of insight, a lot of insider news about like Marvel stuff is how it's kind of just falling apart a little bit. Like, some of the things were like, oh, you know, after Endgame, Disney slash Marvel, whatever, Disney, they wanted to have, they always wanted to have a movie or show on all the time, constantly. They never wanted to give the viewers a break. They never wanted a break in the superhero Marvel stuff. And now they're kind of realizing that is what's kind of killing it now, because, like, people have to watch a million shows just to know what the fuck's going on. Because to the general audience, they don't know what's going on anymore, and that leads to the, you know, VFX artists also being treated like shit. 
I didn't even watch that last Thor movie. It sucks, because the other one was good, but then Taika Waititi was really, like, shitty to the FX, the FX people. For whatever reason... You know what's funny? My dad, when my dad watches, like, a CG movie, he'll be like, oh, look at the graphics. And I'm like, dad, that's that's not graphic. That's an Graphics is video game. I guess he's not wrong. I guess that's just an old people thing, that they say graphics instead of, like, CG or whatever. Because, I don't know, graphics to me, when you say graphics, that's such a video game word. You know, people can, you know, you can talk about, say, the Scott Cawthon thing, like, he donated, uh, you know. And, you know, some people have clapped back. Some people have clapped back this when people were talking, saying, the, talking about the weird shit the creative Omori does, the fucking, her weird fucking shit she said. Genuinely, like, what the fuck are you, weird shit. Um... And they'll say like, oh, well, Toby Fox in the under, in his uh, Hall Earthbound Halloween ha hack said TLDR, eat shit faggots. And I'm like, first of all, Toby, that, first of all, that was made like a decade ago, okay? That was made when he was like 13. Second of all, he gets the pass, all right? Toby Fox gets the pass. He can say, he has the, he can, he has the F, F word car. He can say it as damn well much as he pleases, all right? Um... Nice. Secondly, oh, thirdly, no, there's no thirdly. That's a shit. It's Toby Fox gets the pass. I remember when that there was like that was a thing a while ago. People were like that was kind of a discussion going on, on Twitter. People were talking about Omocat and both the options. He was quite literally choosing the lesser of two evils. Uh, I don't want to get. Anyways, I remember the um. Yeah, I don't know how people can defend Oma Cat's shit, though. She said some weird-ass shit. Oma Cat said, like, some pedophilic type of stuff. She said she wished she was a Drifloon. And, like, I think, you know, that's... Yeah, kinda, it's kind of weird, man. Kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of sus. Oh, give me that five patch. That's all I need. <gasps> Yo, it's Cracko! There he is. He appears in Dreamland too, so this is also this is kind of like an early showing of him. This is a good boss though. I like this. I like getting a boss in the level. I think we fight Wispy Woods in the Wispy level. Bigger and easier to make claim to Scott is. One second, I'll read that in a second when I when I have the time to actually pay attention to what you're saying. This isn't like Return to Dreamland where you could shake the controller for for Big Bang. Big Bang Otaku. I think I'm at my max bead count. Outer rings. Well, that was at least the least easy way to get all the shit. There we go. Give me that five, I swear to God. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Bing bang attack, Dragon Ball, Vegeta. No, I just think it's weird as fuck to make a claim about Scott when it's so far from the fucking truth. I mean, you can see the donation money. I don't really want to talk about this anymore. Uh, What else is there to talk about? Elden Ring, doesn't the Elden Ring, I never finished Elden Ring. It, it's weird with that with fucking stuff like that. Because I like Elden Ring, but I just hardly play it. Like, I I still, I wouldn't, I'll hop, I hop back into it like every couple months. And I just kind of bum about. I don't know. It's like, I, I and it's not, like I said, it's not even a thing I don't like it. Because I obviously, I do like it very much. I just can't, I just don't. I don't know, I don't know. Very weird. I guess I'm just odd in that way. I know the DLC comes out December 7th. That's pretty interesting. Maybe one day I'll just sit down and be like, okay, I'm not playing any other... Woo. I'm not playing any other video game until I finish Elden Ring. Maybe one day. One day. He also could have... Uh, last thing I'm going to say about the Scott Con thing, then he could have just not donated money. You know? Like, he also just could have not... This is, I like this, how this plays. I mean, obviously it's supposed to look like Dreamland, but I, you know. It looks nice. It looks nice just to see good old Dreamland. Bum, 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 What is that, a Kaleidopee? Is that what that instrument is? 
Oh, is this the fucking first level of, like, Dreamland or Superstar in Spring Breeze? No, it is not. Mm. Uh... Ba -bum. Bum. I don't know. The classic Dreamland iconography is good. It's so weird. I'm sick of Green Hill Zone. I'm, like, genuinely, like, I never want to see Green Hill Zone aesthetic ever again. But, like, the Mario generic aesthetic and the Kirby generic aesthetic, I don't mind seeing now and then. You know what I mean? Because, like, like as, you know, that was kind of, like, one of the faults of Star Allies. But, like, it didn't, it wasn't a, I stand by, I don't think Star Allies was a, was a bad video game in any way, shape, or form. I just think it was, you know, when all the DLC finally came out, it was a, I thought it was, I thought it was a fine video game. Is it the best Kirby game? No. Is it better than, like, Return to Dreamland, Land, Dribbled Looks, or what? No. Yeah, the classic cannons, baby. That's what I'm talking about. There's Wispy Woods. There he is. Classic Kirby gaming right now. Whoop. That's what I'm talking about. There he is! That's him! Whoop. I'm sorry I had to do this to you, Wispy. I'm sorry I had to make you cry, but that's just what has to happen all the time, man. Yeah, so I, I would I wouldn't mind maybe restreaming Star. I mean, Star Allies is also one of those games you could really just pick up whenever and play it again because of like all the Star Allies friend, you know the the friend mode where you could play as the other characters. That's such an easy way to pick up and replay the game. And some characters have like unique levels. I do wish they went harder with it. I wish there were more levels that are from respective games of some of the Dream Friends. There we go. I don't fault uh, fall Toby too much, even if I don't like Undertale. Also, the only cat is far weirder than anything I've seen from indie devs. I mean, like it's either yeah, I get yeah. I guess it's up to you what you think is more is more heinous. But yeah, oh my, I don't know. People are like, I don't know, because yeah. So with that whole situation, you know, people are shitting on Omo Cat like, yeah, she's some some weird shit. And then Omo Cat fans would be like, oh yeah, well, uh, Toby Fox. Uh, did this, and then it would do the Halloween hack, TLDR, eat shit faggots thing, and it's like, bro, that's not even this, that's not even in the same wheelhouse. It's like, remember when, like, I remember Creator of Hasbun Hotel, I don't know how that, those shows are still good, when, like, sh the Creator of Hasbun Hotel has also done, like, blackface and shit. How was that, like, how, why, I guess people still support Dream, even though he's a fucking freak. Hey, what's up, Grizzo? Isn't that what this dude's name is? Grizzo? Bum ba -dum. Uh, yeah, don't even, I mean, we, we're all in succession on Dream, how I fucking, and like, here's the other thing, I, there's so many people that have played video games with him that, like, whenever I see their names too, I'm just like, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care about this dude or that dude or whatever. Anybody that's associated with Dream, I also just kind of don't give a shit about. At least he doesn't trend as much as he used to. But then again, I also have Dream. I do have Dream muted, but sometimes I still see like uh, like the uh, in like the popular hashtag, I still see some Dream related fucking thing, and that sucks because I don't want to hear about that man. I want that. Oh wait, I think I fucked up. Nope. I just would. I don't care about that dude. He's such a fucking loser. Remember when he like did his face reveal, and then like a while later he took it down and was like. And acted like he never revealed his face or whatever because people are being so mean to him because he looked like the most generic fucking dude ever. I don't know, people on the internet who into anybody, the same thing with like K-pop stands when they're like, when they take a picture of dude and be like, oh my god, he's so, like, oh my, isn't he so beautiful or whatever, some weird shit like that. I don't know, those people are fucking weird on the internet. Those are like the genuinely weird people. And like, I might be a, like a little weirdo about Mario and be saying like, you know, oh, the Luigi's a fruity little green bean man. But, like, I don't know. That's a fictional... Like, I I don't know. That's weird to say stuff about that to a, about a real person. It's different when it's a little... When it's a fictional little... Scrimblo... Bimblo character. But when it... I don't know. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I think it... I find the TLDR thing... I, the TLDR thing is funny. I agree. 
Stoby has gone as record though, stay. You know what's so funny about that? Because then it's it's that, it's the TLDR thing, and then it's I should gags for anybody who's watching this for the first time, because I've said the F, F a few times now. I'm I'm bisexual, so I have the I I you know it's my I, it's my word. I think it's funny. I, I think the word's funny. Um But um what was I saying? Oh yeah, he's gone and it's so funny, like, there's the TLDR thing, and then it's followed up immediately by the first ever rendition of Megalovania. That's the funniest shit in the world. I don't know, like, the, one of the most famous video game songs of our generation, and that's where it originates. Take these. Oh, wait. I, my, okay, no. It was just for the music. I don't really care about the music. Bro, who listens to music in the actual video game? That's why all that shit just be on YouTube. Oh, Twin Woods inside another tree. No, my, my, my crystals. Crystals, Crash Bandicoot. Whoop. Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba -bum. Wait, is there something over here? Yes, there was. I'll take that. Bum. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Actually, Megalania was plagiarized from another song. Is that real? Or, like, how real really is that? Because there's things, because obviously there's plagiarism, and then there's, like, convergent thinking, and then there's just taking inspiration. Bum, 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 bum. It's like there's plenty of Mario. Like the underground Mario theme is, it, it's it sounds exactly like a song from a band in the 70s. The banana 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 is exactly a song. I, I watched a video about it just the other day. So like there's a difference. I don't know. You know, it's the same kind of thing where it's like, oh, sorry, I'm burpy. It's the same thing where they're like, there's so many I, so many people that exist that we're probably going to come up, you know, there's only so many ideas that exist. There's so many stories to tell that exist. That you're probably going to have a song that sounds like another thing, you know what I mean? That's something I always worry about when I'm being like, when I'm trying to be creative. I feel like that's a thing a lot of creative people probably think about is like, oh, this is, because like... I don't know, I guess when you want to make something, you want to be the first person to make it. And, like, sometimes it you just aren't. Like, there's somebody that's already made that thing. So, it's just kind of... It's hard. It's really hard to make anything truly original. You're always inspired by something, whether you know it or not. And sometimes you accidentally pick up whole motifs. Or just, like, entire... Anything from th something you've watched and you just don't realize it. Like, you've copied it to a T without realizing it. Oh, so can you confirm those fears? Glad I got you in the t uh, best part of this game. Most can you confirm those fears? I mean, yeah, I can confirm. I have those fears. What do you mean? Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, here it is. Here's Wispy. Fucking die! Die, you bitch! Ah, there we go. How you doing, clown? How's your day been? Nice to see you. I want to appreciate the people who come in, like, all the, like, you know, not, some people aren't here all the time, but the people who are here, you know, even semi-regularly, thank you very much, I appreciate you. It does, you know, makes, uh, streaming worth doing. So the device supposed to be plagiarized, I, yeah, so, you know, you just kind of gotta, if you accidentally, you realize you've accidentally plagiarized something, I don't think you should... Well, you know, we'll plagiarize. You know what I mean. We'll plagiarize. You wouldn't accidentally plagiarize. Plagiarizing is the uh, is the enlist is the is the um, intent of you have the intent of doing it. But if you accidentally copy something, I just don't worry too much about it. I think is my thing. Are we going to DDD's castle, baby? Oh no, we're going in here. I want to go to fucking castle DDD. So I'm doing okay. A bit of a rough afternoon, but aside from that, I'm doing good. Nice, nice. We're probably finishing this up soon. How many levels are there? 
Because there's, okay, there's Wispy's Forest. There's Tempest Towers. That's, okay, so. One, two, three. Four? Five. Six. Six. There's six levels here. All right, hopefully we can get all these done tonight. Maybe we should start running through them a bit faster. I mean, we're only at all hour 11. We got another hour to go. I don't know what I'm going to do on Wednesday. I guess I'll figure it out. This is some good music. Uh, it could be Lethal Company with a different group of friends, like I was saying. That's That could be, potentially be it. You know, actually, there's one of my friends recorded us playing. Um, my friend, me and my friends Tommy and Muffin were playing it last week, last weekend. And Muffin actually has some of the videos recorded, some of it, and they're like there's some little snippet videos, like highlight uh, clips that he's private on YouTube. I'm gonna, I might ask uh, after this level if I could show those, please. Cause they're pretty good. They're pretty funny. They're pretty funny. Cause it's the first first time they were got to play the video game, and now they're kind of hooked on it. So I'm glad about that. I'm glad they're hooked on it. I want that. I'm not gonna whatever. I don't like this wind mechanic. I like this music. I don't like the wind mechanic. Play Monopoly, bro. I fucking hate Monopoly. If I could be real with you, I do not like Monopoly. I think it's boring as shit. I can fly. Bookcase. Is this even based on like a Kirby level? There's something else up here. One second. This it kind of looks like Butter Building, I guess. Oh no, there's nothing. No, there's nothing. Whoop. There should be one off but Butter Building. Monopoly kind of doo doo. Probably the Butter Building elements. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was auto-scrolling for a second. I guess it could be like the Dreamland 2 and 3 random like castle castle and like temple levels there are. Temple. Like fortress, you know, like manors or whatever. Um, there's a different word. There's a third word for castle I can't think of right now. Palace. Like that. Let me go. Oh. Uh, Kirby, why won't you transform into a car for me? Die. Fucking unraveled. No. Okay, well, I, I guess this is good. Whatever. I kind of don't care about score anymore. I say as I see that crystal star and I'm like, I kind of want to go down there. Ba -da -da -dum -bum -bum. Uh, I kind of don't like this level. I'll be real. I hate this. I hate this fucking mechanic. I hate this wind shit. It annoys me. Oh, I can stand on the flags. Okay, well, that would have been nice to know. Hope you get excited to the final boss in Delta in Chapter 3. Fucking fortress, y'all. It's gonna be real. I think 3 and 4 is probably gonna come out. I think by this time next year, I'll have probably have played, um... Chapters 3 and 4. I think that will be real. Bro, no, please. Uh, uh, who the fuck is... Hey, one second. I, one of the dogs... Fuck me, I hate this level. I genuinely actually kind of hate this level. This is annoying. Please! Oh my god. Sorry. This is okay, this is one of those streams I think where I'm not I'm kinda losing steam a little bit of things to talk about. And this level is just annoying. I can already tell like it's not a very good stream by the amount of viewers, but you know what? I'm still having fun enjoying the video game. That's how it you know, that's just how it be sometimes. It's like how like for some reason the first video the stream of this has like uh, almost 200 views on it, and I do not know why. Like, do people just really like their Kirby? Kirby, can you fucking do the car move like I've told you to do? Okay, well, there's that. 
Mm -mm. Let's do what I do and do a silly voice. Gonna come out now. What? Real? I remember liking this when I was younger. People need their yarn fix. True. All right. I'll try to still get gold if I can. We got a lot of levels to go. We still got, like, four other levels. Fucking Scarfies. Are their ears supposed to be wings? Scarfies are fucked up, man. That one episode in the anime where DDD gets them, and he, like, genuinely loves them, but then he just gives them up. I don't like anime DDD. I've said this. I think anime DDD is a, is a slight against all other DDDs. Okay. I don't know. Anime, he's just so mean. Like, anime DDD isn't that evil. I mean, real DDD isn't that evil. Anime DDD is fucked up and evil, and I don't like it. I think if they do a new Kirby anime or show, cartoon, whatever, anytime in the future, I think anime DDD is a good starting point for the character, but it's not like a good ending point, you know what I mean? No one wants, like, that to be the character the whole way through. That's why almost I kind of wish there was like a continuation of right back at you where it was after, you know, no more nightmare monsters. DDD can't order monsters and he can finally start growing as a character. And because like th then there's some were ep some episodes where DDD in the anime learned his like lesson and became like a good guy. But for that episode and then it went back to episodic shit. Wow, I didn't even get silver on here. That's crazy. Whatever. As long as I get silver right now. Fuck, bronze. Whatever. That level sucked. That level was ass. Is there any new Kirby show? Can there be an on-screen execution of Tiff and Tuff? Why do you hate Tiff and Tuff so much? Tiff, I mean, I kind of get the hate for Tiff a little bit. But, like, it's not that bad. Or do you think they'll, they'd ever bring back Escargoon? That's Cargoon and DDD in that show were very like that that this is that's it's hardly even subtext in some of those episodes that two dudes are like gay. There's literally episodes where like they're like I love you as Cargoon and as Cargoon's like I, oh I love you sire. That's like real. Real Cloud Palace. Why didn't they just name it Bubbly Clouds? I miss S Cargoon. Never also made sense cuz S Cargoon, why was S Cargoon evil and fucked up? Cuz he it's we uh, that was something I never understood about his character. Like, DDD, okay, he's the jerk, okay, whatever, then, but what is, why is Escargoon, like, j Escargoon is also just doesn't care if, like, people fucking died in front of, I don't know. But then again, he's, like, sometimes the voice of reason. His character's a little bit, I like him, but he's, I, it's hard to pinpoint what the fuck he's supposed to be, that guy. Is he the voice of reason? Is he, he is crony? Well, voice of reason to a point, I guess. He, he still likes to be an asshole. Because then his mom is so nice. So, like, that's the thing, he's got, like, a mom that he loves and wants to be... Wouldn't his mom be so angry if he was, like, a bad person? A bad, shitty person? Why aren't these dude, the spring dudes from, like, Kirby games? Boom. Boom, boom. Garlic breadsticks and tomato soup. My mom just texted me. I guess that's what's for dinner. I just had a sandwich not too long ago, so. But that still sounds pretty good. I do love my tomato bisque. I do love a nice, creamy tomato bisque. If you guys want some good dinner, get get tomato bisque and then make yourself just like a nice ham sandwich. And then just dip that shit in the nice warm tomato bisque. He's a nihilist who hates children. Oh god, I just remember the Krakos in this level. Let's get the shit out of me. We, the Krakos also in Spaceland. We fought Krako. Remember that one mad skit where it's like Krako and Koopa fucking uh, industries where we design traps for you. Remember that? Remember that mad skit? Mad had some good skits where you could tell people actually like the video games. Mad had a Pikmin skit. This is like a Yoshi level. I want the Mario Wonder Devs to make a new Yoshi game. Because they could actually make a... There he is. That is a little scary. Kirby, move. Sometimes he just doesn't transform into a car, guys. I'm telling you. Bada bada bum 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 bum. Huh. Yeah, give me that. You think I wouldn't see this shit? 
Bubbly soda. Aw, oh, fuck, man. A soda sounds so good right now. How do I get up there? Oh, shit. I have to, like, have some serious momentum. Whoop! Maybe I get up here. Maybe there's another way I'm just being dumb right now. Ooh. Whoop. This is, like, the best mechanic in the game, is, like, swinging on shit. If only it was a bit more, like, momentum-based, you know what I mean? I love the type of games that do this shit, though. Like, momentum. That's why I like Pizza Tower so much, because the momentum is so good. And stuff like Tropical Freeze. Man, I've been hankering to replay Tropical Freeze again. But maybe I should wait, like, another two years, and then I can replay it on stream. Or maybe if there's... I don't know. Ugh. I I'm a guy that does replay games a lot, so it's gonna be kind of hard to, like, decide when is a when is a good time to replay a game on stream. You know what I mean? I've done Thousand Year... I'm gonna end up doing Thousand Year Door fucking three times because Nintendo makes a remake of it that I never thought they'd do in a million, bazillion, more billion years. That's the five patch. Whoop. What is this, tank? What is this one? Oh, this. Yo, it's it's actually the thing from fucking Superstar. I do love Crackle's lore in that he just fucking despises Kirby. The Mad Pikmin sketch is good. I thought Crackle was a lawyer. Um, what was the one of the things you said that I just... Oh, yeah, Crackle's lore. Yeah, Cra well, the other thing about Crackle's lore is that he's just... There's a... It's, you know, Wispy Woods and Crackle share this, I, this theme... That, fuck, that, um, they're just on every conceivable planet. There's a version of Krakow and Wispy on every planet. And sometimes even multiple, that they're just like a universal constant. That was some good lore to give Wispo and Cracky to be like, oh, that's cool, but also it's not like super crazy. I do think they missed the chance in Forgotten Land to, instead of doing Tropical Woods, they could have done a fucking Shadow of the Colossus type enemy where you, it's a giant Wispy Woods tall, as tall as a skyscraper, and you go inside it and it's like a platforming level. And, like, you hit, you go to the top, you hit the weak point, and then you send back down. This time, the path up is different. That, that could have been so peak. That could have been peak Wispy Woods fight. Bada, bada. Oh, that's where the disc was. I don't really care about the music. That would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. Not that I don't like Tropical Woods. I think that's a pretty good... I can't shake. I keep thinking I could shake like this is Return to Dreamland. You know what I am? One thing, the only bad thing, the only real negative I could say about Forgotten Land. Well, there's a. I wish the story was a bit more as in depth as like Robobot was, but um. Fucking. There's no shooter segment. There's no sh segment in Forgotten Land where like this, because every Kirby game has had a shooter segment. And I think it would have been perfect. I think a perfect idea. I remember one of someone I follow on Twitter said this. You all the Waddle Dees jump into Kirby's mouth and you're shooting Waddle Dees like a fucking Gatling gun. That would have been so good as like a final segment. Instead, we got the truck, which the truck is fine. I don't think it's, I don't think it's as epic as some um, final segments in other Kirby games, but it was pretty good. That whole final area though, like the voice acting and shit, I feel like that makes up for not having a super mechanically interesting final boss encounter. I, though the the true arena in Forgotten Land, one of the best ones. One of the best ones in the series. I think it's up there with Robobot. That's funny how yeah, because Forgotten Land literally has a gun copy ability. The truck is all right, honestly. Yeah, the truck's all right. But like everything else about like that whole la last bit of the game is so good. Like the DDD cutscene, the voice acting, the lore. Just the fight of, like, it's, like, Fecto Elfless is, like, the weirdest Kirby design we've had yet. I remember when I first saw Highness, I was like, what the fuck? That's demented. And then we have, you know, Fecto Elfless and, like, his, his, I almost said Gooner, his goo personality. Why is King Dedede's castle in the sky? Here we fucking go, though. We get a big, stupid DDD plush as furniture in this one. Forgotten Land True Reno oh, was awesome. Cars are the mascot of Mouthful Mode, so it makes sense. I guess. But I feel like there's something better you could have done. Castle DDD. 
Give me that good music, baby. Give me that DDD music. Here we go. Yeah, baby, gourmet race. This is good, man. This is what I'm talking about. This game doesn't really have a lot of Kirby remixes. Usually, Forgotten Land didn't have a lot of remakes. I will say one other thing about Forgotten Land. Um, maybe I no, maybe I should need to listen back to it. I I do think I'm more. I know we had finally like two newer composers really working on Forgotten Land. I still think Ajun Ishikawa was my favorite. I think he has more bangers than the other two do. The other two guys are fine. There's a lot of good music in Forgotten Land, but I feel like there's less real bangers. Like the the haunted uh, amusement park level that's like ba 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 is pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Obviously, the battle themes are great. Leon Gars is great. Bechdel Alphalus is great. Meta Knight is fantastic. Morpho Knights is fantastic. Man, I wish I would have streamed myself doing the post game. I will never make that mistake again. Forgotten Land, streaming Forgotten Land taught me a lot of things. Because streaming it definitely... Uh, streaming it definitely um, hampered my enjoyment of it a bit. Only because I went a little too hard on it. I did like five hour VODs. I had like two five hour VODs or something. And I didn't pace myself. I'm much better at pacing myself on that shit now. Like with Mario Wonder, I tried to pace myself. I did at most like three hours. And then maybe the last one was like five. That's why with the Mario RPG remake, I'm just going to treat it like normal two hour gaming session. Bow, bow, bow. I do forgot Forgotten Land had more callbacks, honestly. It kind of feels disconnected from the others, I guess. Yeah, but at the same time, that I think that's the point. I think the point is supposed to be it's kind of it's supposed to be its own new thing. I'm just glad we finally have can have different character designs, man. I'm glad we it's not floating character with hands. You know what I mean? That was my main thing. I I was always like I was always was always a nitpick about modern Kirby games with me was like why do they all just are floating bodies with hands? <laughs> There it is, Castle DDD. Did I already get the first one? No, that's the first one. Do you not get the big DDD plush in this level? Maybe I'm dumb. They're actually low. Yeah, I get that for sure. I like floaty hands, but some variety is definitely nice. You could tell, like, fucking, um... What's his name? Oh, I knew his name. It's a specific artist that, like, designed all the, all these, uh... Ricky Furman. Ricky Furman. Uh, who's worked at Halo since, like, Star Allies, I think. Maybe a little bit before. Uh... He did some of, like, the anniversary art illustrations. He did, like, the Animal Friends one. And you can tell. Just look up his art. Look up Ricky Furman Kirby. And you'll see, like, he definitely came up with fucking Silly Dillo. And just all the, all of the Beast Pack. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Love Ricky Furman. His DDD is so funny looking. His DDD is just a potato with, like, lips. It's pretty good. I do enjoy it. People think... I still can't believe... It's so crazy to me that we live... We still live in a world... I guess just people aren't big Kirby heads. That where people still think... DDD is, like, the main villain. Like, I think if you went up to, like, a person... Like, if you went to... A person that definitely still had a Switch and played Nintendo... And, like, still played shit like Zelda... And you were like, hey, who's the main villain of Kirby? They'd probably either say DDD or Meta Knight. I think that's just the fucking consent. The, I'm, I don't know why I need, felt like I needed to swear there. I, oh, this is a Christian stream. But I don't know. I just feel like that's the case. His Magalore is peak Mago. He does do got a pretty good Magalore. Good egg. Good egg shape. Am I supposed to destroy these? That's not what I wanted. Man, I hope I didn't fuck this up. Nope, I did not. 
<laughs> bum, 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 bum. It's those are the same people though. Well, okay, no, those people would say they'd say Dedede, and then if you had to ask them for a different villain besides Dedede or Meta Knight, they would say Marks. Same people who all Marks and Smash Brothers, the same people that would still call Dedede a villain. I feel like a hand people would say Marks because they're stupid. That's true. I just don't understand. Like, is it just? It really just is because he's in Superstar, which is like the most well-known Kirby game, I guess. Which, I mean, I'm not going to say K Superstar isn't great. I mean, Superstar Ultra is better, obviously. But, you know, it's still the same game at the end of the day, really. And, like, obviously, Superstar Ultra did a lot for modern Kirby. I mean, we wouldn't have the, like, the moveset shit. I'm not going to say I dislike Superstar, but I do think it's incredibly overrated. That's like saying if Super Mario Brothers was better than Mario World or Mario Wonder. You know what I mean? I didn't want to go back in. And Sakurai made him a boss in Smash, which probably doesn't help. Yeah... That dude really just doesn't want to put in any modern Kirby, huh? You could have had the Divine Terminus from Star Allies as a stage. You could have get Magalore in there. You could get Bandana Waddle Dee in there. You can get, you could get like every Kirby character is basically all every playable Kirby character is basically already all the Star Allies characters are basically already ready for Smash Brothers because the move set, the Smash Brothers move set derives from Kirby, from Superstar. Like that's what that is from, and yet we only oh there we go. Was this all? Oh no, this was the DDD robe. And yet we just don't, we just don't get, we just don't get any new Kirby characters because Sakurai, I guess, thinks he knows the best way. That's why I'm like, he's probably gonna direct the next Smash Brothers, which I don't have a, you know, I can't say I have a problem with because he's done good, but like, the idea that no one else can do it but him is kind of. Did you guys see the tweet? He were on, on on his YouTube. He, he talked about how the reason he never made a story mode ever again is because the cutscenes were leaked on YouTube immediately. He was like, the. It's so asinine. It's such like an old video game developer thought process. Like, oh, I don't want to add cutscenes because they're just gonna get. You know, that's not a reward. I guess because he thought the cutscenes were like a. Re Whoa, were like a reward for doing gameplay. So, like, he was like, oh, so there was, like, we spent so much money and heart on these cutscenes, then people just put it on the internet, and it's like, uh, so I'll never do cutscenes again, because, like, uh, they're just gonna get leaked, and it's like, that's so... That's so, that's such a, like, a Nintendo-ass, Miyamoto-esque, well, I don't know. That's such an old Nintendo developer mindset, I feel like. Didn't Star Allies come out after Ultimate? No, Star Allies come out way before Ultimate. Like, no, same year, but before. I mean, Marks and Smash is in kinda, and I wouldn't say Dedede's a villain anymore. I can firmly believe if Smash gets a new game, it needs a new director. I agree, Clown. I 100% agree. Both because I don't agree with a lot of the Sakurai decision, he's almost like died developing each game. I think the cutscene thing was just a bit, I don't know if he's actually like that. No, it's real. He said that. That's He said this in a new video. And in one of his new YouTube videos, he was like... Oh, and the, uh, we made, took a lot of time making these cutscenes, and they were put online, and, like, what, well, and so I don't put them, I don't put cutscenes in any more Smash Brothers, that's why I didn't have cutscenes in World of Light, because, uh, but what's the point of, because he, because how he says it in the video, he says it as he thought the cutscenes were, like, a reward for doing the gameplay, and not, like, a supplementary thing, I don't know, it was, like, a very, it's a very Nintendo developer mindset. Nintendo's so weird, man. They, like, every, like, they have, a lot of developers of Nintendo, older developers of Nintendo, have such a weird mindset with certain things. Like, with the, we couldn't have, you know, it's, it's being fixed now with Wonder and shit, but, like, the fact we couldn't have, like, a lot of new weird shit in Mario games for a while, and just, like, so much other stuff. It's, it was, it's just bizarre. I just don't understand their, I just don't understand their thoughts, their thought process. Kirby once again didn't turn into a car, and that's why I got hit on the spikes, by the way. I don't know. I don't know. That's It's such a dumb reason, man. Like, get over yourself. Oh, some people le leaked your cutscene, so you're never going to do cutscenes again. It just seems like such a foolish, foolish thing to say. Uh, No, he said that before. He said that before the video. That's also true. Uh... I truly hope the next Smash reels back on third party. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Keep Sonic and, like, you know, maybe Sora. I don't know if Sora would stay. Keep Sonic. Keep, like, Snake. But, uh, one of the recent ones on his new channel, I haven't been able to watch his latest. I don't really watch his videos. I just saw the clip. 
I still stand by Harada. Tekken Direct would be better. Yeah, because you... I don't want... I've said this. One second. Let me read the rest of the comments. I'm more weird oddball GameCube characters and shit like that. Yeah, sure. Never make any more Smash cutscenes again. Have you seen Snapcube's dubbed video? L Nintendo. We can't get over Smash. Game dubbed over like that. Keep the Brawl guys, Mega Man and Pac-Man. Fuck the rest of them. Yeah, I agree. Banjo, though. Banjo! Banjo! You're gonna say fuck Banjo? I can't stand for that, man. Banjo, I love him. He's one of my mains. I do think they should bring back Piranha Plant, though. I think that'd be funny. I think that'd be funny. I remember I got so mad when Piranha Plant was revealed. I genuinely got fucking angry. But, um, now I'm like... Ugh. But now I'm, now I'm like, he's one of my big favorites. I will stand by. I think Shy Guy would have been the... No fucking way. What was this for? Oh, I don't care. I still think Shy Guy maybe would have been better. Because he has, like, little hammers. He's got all his, his Paper Mario shit. He's got so much stuff a Shy Guy can do. His up B can... I don't know. He's got so much shit. Shy Guy's got so much stuff, you, so many things you can pull from. Ba bum 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 Yo, that's a big Waddle D. And now he's dead. Bam, 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 bam. Fucker Croc sold, uh, sold more than him. Oh, shit. Finally, someone who else... Uh... Who said that it should have been Shy Guy? Shy Guy and Smash would have ruled. It would have ruled. So I'm still good with Piranha Plant. That's another, like, yeah, that's a good fucking statue. Look at that shit. That's what I'm talking about. Hail to the fucking king, baby. I hope Kirby gets some spin offs soon, though. Like, I want some. They've talked about it before. And I think they probably want to do it. But, you know, they just had a lot of different. Fuck you, though, Yin Yarn. Asshole. But, um. They've talked about how they... Oh, shit. I need all this. There goes that. One second. I gotta pay attention here. No! I need this. I'll say my thought process after what I was gonna say after this. There we go. That's what I want. All right. They've said they want to do like a. They've thought about a DeRoach stealth game and uh, like a Meta Knight spinoff. And I would really like that. I'd really enjoy that. I'd love to get like something, especially with DeRoach, because he's like with Meta Knight. It might be a bit more like uh, you could just play as him. You could just give him like a side mode in a game. But for like, for like DeRoach, like a DeRoach spinoff that's like a stealth thievery game, almost like Wario Land but with stealth. I'd be into that. I think that'd be cool. You have so many of these characters that could just kind of hold, like, their own game a little bit. I'd want them to, like, obviously still very much be, Kirby, you know, Kirby games in a way, though. You know what I mean? I don't want, like, a... I don't want a Donkey Kong Mario Land situation where, like, they never connect to the Kirby. Or, like, how those can never connect to Mario. You know what I'm saying? I would have preferred Boom Boom with Sumar Brothers 3 style moveset. But I'd like to see Shy Guy, how that would work. Oh, is this the final boss already? Uh, no, no, yeah, Piranha Plant is great, too. They need to stick around. Oh, he's fucking evil! Oh! Are you looking at me? He's evil! Uh... Give me a Koopa Trooper Hammer Brother, too. The Roach game would be sick. Depends on how they did it. Give Gooey the fishing game he deserves. Hey, okay, so let me ask you guys something. I guess it's only been an hour 40. I guess we'll see. I mean, let's do this final boss, and then if I feel like doing, um... Because there's still extra levels. There's a watermelon level. And there's a uh, there's another level over here. I get, uh, so... We'll see. It's already an hour 40. But if I feel like I, I want really want to do those extra two levels once I get the patch in here, I'll do them. I'll do them. Bow, 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 bow. This is Dreamline 1 music, right? Bow, 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 bow. Or is this a... What is this? This is Dreamline 1, right? Bow, 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 bow. Good fucking music. Okay, boss rush. Alright, I'll take that.
Uh, that's all I get from you? Bada bing. I guess that's all I'm getting from you from a hit. Oh, because you're like miniature. Okay, they're miniature versions of the bosses. There is zero two motifs. Why the fuck are there zero two motifs in yin? Oh. Why is there zero two motifs in yin yarn's move in yin yarn's boss theme? Out of all the characters to, give, to be given zero two motifs, it's fucking yin yarn. To be fair, this isn't like it was made by the real Kirby devs. Because now if there's like a theme of another character's... If there's a motif of another character's theme and a different character's theme, that fucking means something. But, you know, when it's made by good feel, it's kind of just like whatever, I guess. Bum -ba -dum, bum -bum -bum -ba -dum. I already, I'm just kind of sad I've already streamed Kirby 64, because I do love that video game. I wish I could stream it again. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do? He's one of the four heroes. That'd be fucked up. Could you imagine? I mean, he does have an eyeball like Dark Matter. You get out of here. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, there's silver. Oop. Got it. What? That dude wasn't there yet. Did you see that? Go. You're not. Re oh, I can hit him now. I'll take all these crystals. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay, you're done giving me stiff. Let me. So that is his eyeball. I've come to the conclusion that is his eyeball, and that's. Fu I don't like that. I always. I always thought the purple bits were his eye. He be fugging somehow, huh? He's Nightmare Wizard's buddy from college. That'd genuinely be so funny. I wonder if I want to. I hope next game they go into the four heroes. I want that. That's what I want. I want that to be the next lore. Shit. There we go. Okay, he didn't. I didn't really run because he didn't give off shit that time. And now, it, it, but then he's the needles, right? So is this another invention? You can stick this with the lore that these were made by the ancients. I think, though, I was thinking, I've been thinking about it a lot with, like, the Magalore extra mode. I've come to the conclusion that I think why Helkandra's kind of fucked up is that it, that after, like, the Forgotten Land, the ancients went to Helkandra. That's where they lived for a while. And uh, maybe even the Master Crown was made by the Magic Ancients as revenge or something. And the or they created it, it was just too great, and that's what destroyed the civilization. I think the Master Crown has ended the ancient civilization, is what I'm basically guessing here. Is my thoughts. Oh, thank you, Meta Knight. That's my that's my lore thought. That's my headcanon theory. Uh, which we're here against the thing with the Galactonite. I think the implication is the Needles are the true villain, Ninar is just a puppet, yeah. Yeah, Galactonite is one of the four heroes. That's been confirmed, so I'd like to know the rest. I like my shit back. Bro, he's getting rid of all my shit! No! Bro, I'm not doing this boss again. If I don't if I don't get it, I'm not doing this boss again. I'm not doing this boss again for the patch. So we're not getting those extra levels. Bro, this what the fuck is this? How am I even supposed to get my shit back? I guess I just can't. Now I don't even have bronze. Real cool. I could start over if I really wanted to. It wasn't that hard. I think I'm going to start over. We'll do this one. I'll start over one more time. Just because I would like that patch. If I don't get this patch on this run, we'll just do it again. Two who.
Koopa Troopa Hunk and Kirby sounds fun. Game theory is that Kirby for his DTY are the same ones. No, they real. I think you just got the bad crystal fling RNG. Yeah, okay. I should just stay back for that part. All right, this will be easy, though. I can get some off hitting him once. Here we go. Here we go. Now that I know his whole deal, now that I know how his boss fight works. Fuck me. Okay, do it again, man. Do it do it again, you son of a bitch. You fabric fuck. That's a good one. That's a good alliterate. That's a good one. That's like a that's like an insult they'd say. <gasps> God damn it. That's an insult they'd say in the Mario show if they were allowed to say fuck. Morphra's one of the Oh really? We're doing this again? There we go. All right. Uh, let me just read. I think I, think, I don't know if it's been a while yet, but for the four heroes, something forgotten land. A thing, something. No, for the four heroes. Yeah, the four heroes, something uh, only people. Or watch people. Morpho has the needle. Highness. Morpho has the needle attack. Highness doesn't forgotten land anything. Dang. Well, Highness isn't wasn't forgotten. No. Okay. No. Okay. The four heroes was first introduced in the Star Allies. It was talking about the Jamba Heart and there who sealed away Void. Um, and then in Super Kirby Clash on the Switch, the one that had the parallel nightmare, the final boss is Galactonite, and one of the moves Galactonite uses is the Heart Needles that Highness used in Star Allies. And the Heart Needles are what sealed away the Jamba- or, oh, no, 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 okay, so let me- Highness also used that move, but that's what sealed the Jamba Heart away was those Needles, which is basically- so that basically confirms he was one of the four heroes. As well as his name in Super Kirby Clash, because everything goes by kind of a different name. His name was Aeon Hero. So, there's something there, obviously. Sorry if that was a little confusing. Whoop. You bitch. Okay, explode. Do it again. There we go. I'll take that. Maybe I should hit him again. I'll get some more. No! No! Oh, you know that one video of, like, the weird worm-looking dude? Dum, 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 dum. Okay, I get all those. Silver. Okay, we gotta be careful here. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna cheese it. I'm safe stating. I'm safe stating. I'm cheesing. I'm, I'm cheesing. You can't stop me from cheesing. You need to play those games sometime when I'm not struggling with life. Right. Right, right. Galactonite was the needles, not Morpho. Yeah. Because Morpho can exist without Galactonite, it seems. How's the stream volume been, by the way? Okay, I'm gonna stay back on this one, so if my crystal stars get flung, they won't be flung behind him. It's kind of hard to get to the Galactonite fight in Super Kirby Clash, though, because it's, it's a microtransaction game. It's free to play, but it's microtransactions. If I don't get it this time, then I just don't get it. No, 
my crystal star RNG, please! Got it. We got it. Yeah, okay. They give you a shit ton at the end there. Yeah, are you fucking trying to run? Trying to run, bitch? Nice try, idiots. They're 3D. That's messed up. There they go. So Patchland's another planet. That's messed up. That means Magalore could come across Patchland. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, well, I just thought... Okay, so if this... Okay, if we're take, taking this game as canonical, because why would it not be? I mean, there's no problem with it not being canonical. Is Prince Fluff another Kirby, or is he just a yarn person that looks like Kirby? Is he another incarnation of Void? What, is that the lore? Game volume is low, but your voice is fine. Ah, oh, damn, has it been really that low? Well, I mean, we're about to end now. Well, we'll do some of these extra levels. Sorry if it's been too low. I hope it hasn't been low enough where you can't hear the video game. Okay, okay. Do you think Yin-Yarn's needles have explored each other's bodies? You think they, like, they get their little needle points and rub them together real hard? Probably. Fluff was made out of yarn void. I could see that. Literally, this game is never... I don't think this game's ever been referenced outside of this, though. So this game might not be canonical. Which wouldn't, you know, nothing bad or good comes from it being canonical or not. It's been a bit quiet, but uh, still audible for sure. Okay, good. Because, like, how, my sound box is scrunched up for the credits, so I have more room for credits. So, like, I mean, chat when I'm... So I really shouldn't do that, at least when I'm... I don't know. If, if it's been audible, then that's okay. Good game. I'm glad I finished it. I'm glad I've played this game now. It's pretty good. A little slow. The control, uh, the running can be a little weird for me at times, though. Maybe that's, that could, that could be maybe just because I'm playing it on, uh, the PC version of the game. You know what I'm saying? The totally legit PC version. Video game, uh, was a murmur for the most part. Okay. Been a bit quiet, but still, I'm sure. It got keychains and triple deluxe. I mean, it certainly is a game. And stickers and robot, I think. It's a good game. Is it as good as, like, Return to Dreamland? No. Is it better than, like, Dreamland 2 and 3? Maybe on par. That makes it sound like I don't like Dreamland 2 and 3. I like Dreamland 2 and 3, but the... They both... This and, Dream, and the Dreamland games have a kind of a clunkiness to them. That always kind of annoys me. It's kind of weird, like, oh, move, up, oh, bump, you, you know? But, uh... I still like it. I think it's on par with 2 and 3. I've never fin it done 2, though, actually. I've played 2, but I've never beaten it. Just because the rainbow drops are so much more annoying to get than the dream love hearts and the star hearts or whatever in um, Dreamland 3. And then 64 is pretty easy to 100% because there's only like four levels in each world. Good childhood game, IMO. I do remember playing this a lot with my one of my best friends back in the day at his house. And we got as far as Spaceland, but we just never beat it. That was back in the day, though, when you could rent video games. I miss renting video games, man. That was so nice. You could, like, get a game, rent it for, like, a little bit of money. And then, if you didn't like it, then you didn't like it. That's why I think every video game ever should have a demo. Every video game ever should have a demo where it's, you go through, like, 1% of the game. You have, like, 1% of the game to play through. Store Iwata, there he is. Rip. Rip. Rest in peace. People aren't trustworthy anymore. I beat it with my mom when I was a bab. This is like the only game she was actually able to play. Well, I mean, yeah, it is kind of like a... That's... Yeah, yeah. It's not as... Because uh, you can't die for one. You know, it's, it's been an hour 55. Well, it's been an hour 40 in recording. Do you guys want me to do the two extra levels in Dreamland? Is it worth it? Is it worth it to do the two extra levels? Yo, he cuddling that sock, though. Look at him. I love him. I love my boy. 
The next day, Kirby fell asleep in some shade. He dozed happily with wonderful dreams and held the reminder of a dear friend, even though it smelled a bit. You think he has that shit in his drawer in, like, his house? There's all the characters. They look pretty good, man. I think the art style is pretty good. I think DDD especially looks really good for some reason. I just really like how he looks. I like his massive fucking hammer in this game. In this and in, um... Uh... Air Ride, he just had a massive mallet. I think one of them's a suitor, so it wouldn't be too long. Okay, we could do them. You've completed flicks! Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna decorate my apartment. I'm done with that. It'll top back in. We'll do these two extra levels. Why not? Big hammer. And I'm not finishing that sentence. I can't believe you'd fucking say that about King DDD. I love King DDD. Not like that, though. I'm not a freak, alright? I was about to say King DDD's a virgin, but I don't know if he is a virgin. I like how it's Waddle Dees that all open these. Alright, we'll do these two levels. Oh, why not? Meta Melon Isle. Yo, is this gonna have, like, is this gonna have some of the Halberd to, to play on? This is an orange ocean. Even if he is a virgin, he could still be... I guess that's true. I mean, have you seen the plate? I guess I, I looked up the plate last stream. Oh, this is a racing level. Oh, yeah, these might be quick. Oh, it would be so sick. When's the last time we've seen that fucking bird captain that was, like, on Midnight's Knight's crew? Can I go backwards? I cannot go backwards. I already fucked up. That dude die. I don't think we've seen Sailor D in a while. There's a theory that, like, Kirby killed Sailor D. I've seen some sick art where it was, like, Morpho Knight art. And it was a bunch of, like, visions of enemies Kirby has killed in the past. And then one of them at the very top all big was, like, Sailor D. Because, like, that was truly one of the innocent lives Kirby took. Unless we've seen, um... Unless we've seen Sailor D in things since. I'm not too sure. I know we saw him in, like, Star Patrol or whatever in fucking... Can I stand on all these? I can't. In, uh, Mass Attack, right? If there was an easier way to play that game on an emulator, I mean, my totally legit... Well, there goes that. On my totally legit Nintendo DS, I'd do that. But it's so hard. Sailor D cameos in Star Patrol, yeah. Well, that's not canon, though. Not Mass Attack in in general, I mean... Well. I'm starting over. We're close enough to the beginning that I don't mind starting over. Hope he's doing well, Sailor D. Either he's alive and not doing nothing, or he's dead. I thought Sailor D showed up in one of the Clash games. Did he? He might have. I know there was a bunch of different Waddle Dees. I didn't like the... Finally, from, like, the Kirby Twitter posts, the... The, like, newscaster Waddle Dees were in that game. What? Why is it that Waddle Dees... I don't... Why is it that, like, when Toads are generic Toads, that's annoying? But, like, Waddle Dees can kind of be generic, and it does, I don't mind it. What is that? What's all, what's all that? What's that all about? Why do I not mind generic Waddle Dees? Whoop. I'll take those. Sorry because they don't use, uh, talk. He's in a three relationship with Fatty Will and Glo Gobbler. Sailor D? Is it because Paint Mario games give you a taste of actual Toad characters while Kirby never did that? Well, also, I feel like Waddle Dees, they do let Waddle Dees be different. They give them hats. I mean, and I love how in Forgotten Land they gave them all skin tones. I think that was awesome. I do miss... Remember when Bandana D was, like, more red... Compared to, like, a bunch of the... Oh, I'm making platforms. That's what I'm doing here. I just realized this. I just realized that's what I'm doing. Um, I miss when Bandana D kind of had a more red tinge. That's how I always see Bandana D. When I draw Bandana D, when I give them... You know, if I do a color drawing with color, I make them more red, like they used to be. I do like how in recent games, though... In Return to Dreamland, his little bandana, like, tie part, like, where it tied in the back was super short. 
Lately, though, they've been it, making it big and long, like if it was like bunny ears or something. And I think that's really cute. I like that. Giving them the name Bandy, though. They were gonna give. They were just gonna call him straight up. Gonna call him Bandy and return to Dreamland. But then in the end, they just called him Bandana Waddle Dee. Name him Bandy, man. I like that. I like the idea of him having a real name. Maybe people wouldn't call him a Goomba with a hat if his name was Bandy. Oh, here we go. Okay, one second. She's still kind of red. Uh, she's still kind of red, but I mean, that was her thing. True. Here we go. Fantastic motion controls. Woo! Good. Good, good. There's the ice cream. Ice cream! Whenever I got oh I gotta ask my friend if I could show those Lethal Company clips we were when we were playing the other day. They're pretty funny. Uh Is that all of them? I think that's all the robots. Okay, good. I'll read chat in a second when I'm not doing pointer controls. There we go, okay. I mean, people tr just try to decredit Bandy in any way they can think of. Goombari and Goombella are living proof of that. Yeah, Goombas with ads are awesome. If you act like Goomba with a hat can't be awesome. Uh, train sucks, yeah. Like, not the good kind of janky, like Sunshine. Yeah, J Sunshine's good janky. Well, I'm also, it's because, remember, I have a fucked up sensor bar. My PC sensor bar. Ah. Uh. Fuck. These are some, like, prime, right back at you, Kirby voice clips. There we go. Oh, okay, Kirby! Oh. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Gay Kirby. Oh, I missed the five patch. It was probably up there. Whatever, I think we still got this. In terms of getting a good score. Penguin Kirby? Real. You mean your real Wii sensor bar? Yeah, my real Wii sensor bar. It's too bad for ba uh, too bad for Bandy, for sure. When's Turtle Kirby happening? I want more Beach Turtles, not Penguins, damn it. You got new Koopa Turtle enemies in Mario Wonder. I need to mess with that Mario. Oh, I, I, that's something I thought. I've been modding Mario Wonder on my totally legit PC version of the game. Totally 100% legit. Bought it on my Nintendo Switch. PC Switch. Um, and that's been fun. It's been a little hard, though, because some things conflict with other things. Like, I can't... For the Toads, I have a green and purple Toad mod that makes them green and purple Toads. But I wanted one of the mods on game... on I mean, my, uh, you know, my totally legit DLC costumes was Canopio Coon from the Line account. Nintendo's Line account, like the 1-Up Toad. Oh, Halbert, here we fucking go. Um, and there was one that was like Toad, but Sora. Those yellow toad was would turn into Canopio Coon and blue toad would turn into like a Sora looking toad, like Sora colors. Or you could just turn him into real toad. There was one for real toad too. But unless it's like a pack deal where it's both of them at once, they conflict. Unfortunately, same thing with the Yoshi's. You want out? You want out, dumb bitch? I do have one for the Yoshi's that turns all of them but the green one into like purple, orange, and black. But if I want something for a normal Yoshi, I'm kind of out of luck because it will contradict with the other Yoshis for whatever reason. Uh, okay. Where would a bitch get a totally legit PC copy of Mario Wonder? I think I could probably... I could I could, I could, send it to you. I could send it to you. Uh, Rolonokos shouldn't count as a species. Are there really... Also, yeah, Roller Koopas aren't really a CP. I adore them. No, I'm not talking, but the lack of Bro Koopas really hurt. Oh, yeah, but Roller Nook is top tier for sure. I'm not talking about the 
the skating Koopas. I said the beach Koop, like the tur sea turtle Koopas, the one with the pig looking nose. Those, that's a Koopa species. They're turtle, they're, so therefore they are Koopa. No, rubbing my eyes. You know, let me message my friend right now on Discord and ask if I could show those, and then I could show them at the end of stream here. Bum 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 bum. One second. Can I show Lethal Company clips on my screen? All right, now we'll just wait for the answer there. Double check everything's going good on OBS. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, back to video game. Back to video game. Uh, they're funny to me. Yeah, I want to pet one of them. Absolutely not true Koopas, but I still think they're go. I mean, listen, they have a shell. They're a spike is a type of Koopa. You gonna tell me a spike isn't a type of Koopa? Rocky wrenches used to be a type of Koopa too, but then they fucking they redesigned them just to be Monty moles, and I'll never forgive them for that. The shelled Rocky wrenches were cool. I'm glad they have like the, uh, the like the the chipmunk looking dudes have turtle shells because you know that I when I first saw them I was like oh like old Rocky wrenches. How's the music right now? This track is kind of naturally quiet. Yo, it's the big gun. Luckily, in these, like, flying forms, you kind of attract beads. But -um, but -but -um. Yo, where's Heavy Lobster? Is this, like, the only other game Heavy... If Heavy Lobster is in this level, is this, like, the only other game he's appeared in? That dude never appears in anything anymore. Don't Rockies have their shells again in Mario Kart 8? Do they? Do they in that one level? I hope they do. I love how they look with the shells. I liked how they looked a bit different from Monty Moles, too. Well, they were made before Monty Moles. Monty Moles came from Rocky Wrenches. But, um... They had kind of like a pointier snout. They had like fangs. It looked more like a like a. Monty moles look more like gophers, in reality. Rocky wrenches looked at more like a proper mole with like a longer snout. Meta Knight mask. They do in Roma Vanti, the Rocky Wrenches have a design closer to Marvel the Street instead of just being Monty. Ooh, I need to go see that model. I need to see that model. I th I thought they did. I remember when I streamed it. I was like, wait a minute, is that like classic Rocky Wrench look? But I wasn't sure. Fuck me. Man, I could have got that. Whatever, I think I'm still on track to get gold. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. No, my fucking crystal stars. They better add something new to Paper Mario 1000 in your door, because I don't want to have to stream that game for a third time. There will be, like, no extra new content. At least with Mario RPG, even though it's almost, like, exactly a year since I streamed that. Like, I played streamed that last year in December. At least it's going to have some new content with, like, boss rematches, which I'll check out. So these race levels in Wonder... Second. Those race levels in Wonder should have have the roving racers from Odyssey. No, I like that it has Wiggler. I like that Wiggler's, like, a good guy. Because I always felt like Wiggler was never really a Bowser's minion. I always felt like Wiggler was, like, just a native inhabitant of, like, nature. So I like seeing... So I like seeing Wigglers be like a friend. It also makes sense in the Flower Kingdom and when they're like, Prince is a fucking caterpillar. I was really expecting Prince Florian to turn into like a twink-ass human boy and be like a secret playable character. That would have been so good. That would have been so cool. I, I just love getting secret playable characters in my video games. Wiggler is my friend. Yeah, of course Wiggler isn't a Bowser baddie. Still don't care about him. What? Wiggler is epic. If you don't like Wiggler, 
All my homies love Wiggler. All right? Wiggler's awesome. Temper tantrum, baby ass. Don't fucking say that about my man, Wiggler. You're just saying that because it's sticker star Wiggler, all right? That Wiggler sucks. That's not his fault. Oh, I miss Gal I miss fucking Galaxia. Whatever. You're fucked up and evil, I think, Lewis. All right, well. That's all the content in the video game. That's all. That's everything. We've done the final boss. We've done the, those two final levels. That's everything. Here, I can move this out of my way now. Uh, well, let's go to the BRB screen. All right, let's see if my friend said I could show these lethal company clips. Yeah, you can. Okay, they said we can. All right, all right, all right. So let me uh, mute the game for a second, and I'll show you these clips. There's two clips. We got two clips here that are pretty funny. I want to show you guys. They're from his POV. Uh, there's that one. Here's the other one. Here's the... Okay. It's even more scary. Okay, here's the first one. Let's get this up. This is pretty funny. Let me mute the video game. Alright, here's the first one. Uh, window capture. Properties. YouTube, Google Chrome. Here's the first one. It's even more scary when there's not silence. Hold on. There's something. He said whatever it's it is. Back. He said it's fast. It's fast. I would get out of there now. It's fast. We have to go. Don't go toward don't go Adam. Don't Adam. Adam, stop. He, he said stop. Holy shit. Oh, Adam, it's gonna get out. And then I die. <laughs> I'm trying to get out. I was trying to get out. That was that one. Uh, and then there's another one. Where is it? Here it is, here it is, here it is. It's honestly right, the right, treks right, back right. to the ship that fuck us up. Okay, we know where- Did you hear that? Oh! <laughs> oh no! What the fuck? It's right, it's in there. There's no- <laughs> We can't go back in there, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. What the fuck is this? Tommy! Fucking oh my god, eats him. him. Oh my god, it's eating him. Oh my god. Wax him around like a fucking fuck out of here. Like a fucking rag doll. Oh my god. <gasps> and then this. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, it's fucking coming for me. Adam! Adam, help! Help! Help me! Better get in here. Better get in I here. I can't. I sprint. It's fucking coming for me. Shut that! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! All right. It got Tommy. Well, that, that, that's the giant. You met the giant. It killed Tommy. All right. So yeah, that's that. That's that. That's fun. That game got an update too, so I should uh, I wouldn't mind coming back to that soon. All right. Well, this game's finally finished up. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday with something. Well, I'll figure it out. And then Friday, Mario RPG. We'll see. We'll see what I do. We'll see what I do. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I always appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Uh, have a good night, everybody. I'm gonna go eat some garlic bread and, uh, tomato bisque. Yum, 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 y